In the commutative case, you have the Ptolemy uh, identity, which actually looks actually like a Blucher identity. <coughs> so, and so the Blucher identity, so, so suppose you have just this matrix. And you put P and J just so this just this determinant. And then you know that when you have four relations like this, then you have that this relation that P the I P. some expressions on 2 by n matrices. But that would have to do with uh, two-dimensional planes in, uh, in n, uh, n well, space. Well, I, I will tell you exactly what it oh, means, but basically <coughs> what we were interested in actually is just to construct some invariants of in the pure non-commutative case. Uh, so over say or in R, which are invariant under uh, so the action of GL to R. So you can multiply this by uh, invertible two by two matrices and you have invariants. So yes, in this sense you have these planes that this so, so I will now explain this. So now I will suppose that everything here is non-commutative, those are variables. And I don't know what are our actual determinants, but I, I, I will define what's called the quasi-determinants. And so let me just so if I have just matrix and I have just boxed element, then it's equal to one J minus one I
let me define such strange expression, which I want to know like Q i j k, and they look like this. I have actually a <coughs> Commutative 
exclusivo. So this is what I had in mind. So the model for my ratio x i here was were those guys. And if I will plug this into this to this relation, I will get a relation like this. Well, up to some algebraic manipulation, simple manipulation. And if I will look at this and um, <coughs> So does that mean that if you are given uh, the x, the axis, then you can find this matrix A something? No, no. This is just for me to think. Oh. To keep this as an analog. Again, because so this classical Bluecker relations is uh, classical Bluecker identity is an analog of Ptolemy identity, and then this non-commutative Bluecker relations are analog of this. <coughs> but after I, uh, I wrote this, you may forget about Luger identity. I just want to explain how we came to this because it looks strange. I can only justify myself that uh, we have this non commutative Laurent <coughs> phenomenon. And it, it gives you actually the then it, it opens actually sort of some perspective because you may forget about so this stuff and think only about these relations, then this is just a group. Then for uh, polygons the group will be free, for surfaces it will be free or one relator. To describe the number of generators, you will use the genes and so on, but I just mm -hmm. don't expect. But this I can only give you now. This uh, so the paper is in archive, it's submitted, but so far it's in archive only. And it's 15, and only 2, oh, 6, uh, 2A. 
called non-commutative market uh, surfaces. So I, so I don't want to go over time. So.